Hi DF team, great work as always. I note in John's video on Tekken 8, he votes Epic's TSR as being the best of the many, many upscalers in the game. I think there's like 17 in total. And yeah. this isn't the first time DF has picked TSR over DLSS, the log standing champ. I wonder how it can beat NVIDIA's DLSS given their behemoth amount of technical wizards and more specifically their use of AI and hardware to do the tricks. Surely Epic can't have the same resources behind its TSR development that NVIDIA has put into DLSS. Into DLSS. How does Epic's TSR work compared to DLSS and its AI wizardry? This is an interesting question, right, John, because I, I think typically DLSS is better than TSR. Yes. Um, and they work fundamentally from the same inputs. Um, um, I th I think the point of distinction that, that he's missing here, and this is kind of a UI issue with the way Tekken presents it, is that uh, the difference is that this game supports DLSS, mm -hmm. not DLAA. So DLSS right. is working from a lower input resolution. When using TSR within Tekken 8, there is a resolution slider exposed, and this allows you to set the internal resolution to 100%. So you're basically eliminating the upsampling portion of it. Right. And it's basically using TSR just as TAA, mm -hmm. which is what DLAA would do if it was off offered, which is to say 100% scaling TSR versus DLAA. I'd be curious to see them. Perhaps they would be comparable. Maybe DLAA would have an edge. But in this case, I think to compare it, we have to figure out the res of DLSS quality and then set the res slider appropriately for TSR and see how they compare. Right. Yeah, it'll be 67% um, for Right, quality. which I don't even... Well, you can set this maybe 65%. Yeah, 65%. Yeah. So you can get close. I have okay. to look at that. Mm -hmm. But then the other part of TSR was all the Steam Deck talk where I was recommending TSR and there that's uh, DLSS is obviously irrelevant since it does not work on the Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. And that's that's really where TSR showed its muscle right. because that was using upscaling and often from lower resolutions even than FSR and it absolutely wiped the floor with FSR, TAAU, and even X -E XESS. That's interesting. So, that impressed me. It was much, much cleaner. Mm -hmm. and and you, you saw in the footage, right? The the FSR footage in particular was nasty comparatively. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty much a nightmare scenario for these uh, upscalers because, you know, basically the fighters are moving and, and therefore, you know, new in visual information that isn't in prior history is being taken into, you know, appearing in view. And yep. um, it kind of has to work along, you know, with very little information to reconstruct at that point. It was like 60 to 65% of 720p, yeah. which is not much. Yeah, I mean, I've been impressed with TSR in Fortnite and what it can do at 720p from basically like 360p, um, yep. you know, performance yep. mode, which is which is quite impressive. But then again, Fortnite, I think, is a kind of game where it's not heavy on, you know, visual detail. So it's quite friendly to these upscalers. Uh, any, any thoughts on this, Oliver? No, I would just contest the idea that uh, NVIDIA is necessarily putting a lot more software engineers on this problem. I think Epic probably has a healthy amount of software engineers trying to improve TSR to the best of their ability. And yeah, I typically think that DLSS typically has less annoying breakup than uh, TSR, but I would definitely rank TSR in almost every case I've looked at it, including in Robocop recently, above FSR2 in terms of avoiding like annoying disocclusion artifacts and things like that. It definitely does present a more stable image when in motion, for sure. Yeah, it's great to actually have those options available, especially on a handheld. And uh, there are scenarios where um, I prefer to use uh, XESS over FSR2 on a handheld. You, mm. just, you, you pay more seemingly from a computational perspective, but you just lose far fewer, far less detail. Uh, so it's great to have those options. It puzzles me a bit like Immortals of Avium just remove the option completely on PC. You know, it's 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 free. It's part of Unreal Engine. Include it. it just doesn't really make sense to me.